Rudy, for the love of goodness, that's all that is gracious of every taco in the United States. Make me the monarch. I want to be the monarch. Have you seen the prices of the conspiracy boxes? I know. We're going to have to revive our plan to make it from $200 a box. We're going to have to upgrade, folks, to $300 a box. Well, folks, welcome back to a very serious episode of my patron, Matt J., also known as MJ. He is the CEO of MJ Holdings. Matt uh, says, Rudy, can you show me what it was like to go back to the world of conspiracy? I said, all right, I'm going to take you back, folks. Oh, my God, the packs fell over. I'm going to take you all the way back, and we're going to do this, everybody. Are we ready? Well... Fun facts to start the video off. Conspiracy 2 has become the highest, fastest percentage growth magic sealed product in, I think, five, six years. It is the fastest appreciating booster box in modern times. That's a stunt double, folks, and that's your heist. So, first, we're going to start there. Number two, people ask all the time, Rudy, I don't get it. Two years ago, when I was into magic, these boxes were everywhere and they were cheap. Well, yeah, well, why didn't you do anything about it? Because you were a goblin racketeer. Look at that creepy little guy just taking your crap in the middle of the night. You know he's taking your crap. He's got weight advantage. Man, I wish I looked like that. I wish I did. And he says, you know, I, I don't I don't understand. Like, explain to me how the market can shift that hard. I said, sometimes, folks, things just change because people don't pay attention. The markets can shift so quick. And if you lose focus in this game for one moment, covenant of minds, you'll miss it. Straight up, folks, you will miss it. And that is exactly what happened with Conspiracy 2, Battle Bond, Call of Dash, Dominaria. It's happening with everything nowadays. Inquisition of Kozilek for the slap in the face with what Rudy wishes he looks like again. First good rare of the box, slapping out the Inquisition, folks. You know, and I. And the funny thing is, Desertion, nice little couple dollar rare. The funny part is, folks... Conspiracy Take the Crown at $200 bo $200 a box right now, I think is going to be a bargain in 12 months. That's the worst part. Beautiful Burning Wish from back in the day. And actually, a foil common Palace Sentinels. That's actually one of the best commons that you can actually get a foil of in the set. Some of those foil commons are actually like $5 to $10. I'm laying it out there, folks. Dismiss Smugglers. And a Giant Spider that's completely useless. That is a terrible card. Well, we are at zero Mythics. Uh, Mr. Matt, um, did you remove the Mythics ahead of time? Why do we have no Mythics? Ah! God, every time that just punches me in my 15th nut. Heart of the Wilds. I, I, is this $40 now or something? Mythic number one, home run. Swing and a hit. Oh my, we didn't even have to put cork in the baseball bat to be famous, folks. We got flipping Heart of the Wild. Oh my god, right out of the gate, folks. Look at that Eldrazi. Uh, look at that guy trying to be a hero. Unbelievable. Well, congratulations, Matt. You got a Burning Wish, an Inquisition, and your first Mythic is a flipping home run, man. And followed by some followed footsteps in the fourth, the Mythic Conspiracy. Him of the Wild. Look at that person, like, surrounded by animals. Yeah, I know, that's kind of me on Wednesdays. I surround myself completely naked in the forest, and I look at the sky, and I talk to the trees. You may think that sounds weird. Everything's weird when you... Oh, God, another mythic. Oh. Berserk. Yes, folks. This is one of my favorite cards in the old ABU era. Okay. Slinging out three mythics already, one of which is a conspiracy mythic, so we're not going to count it. Two home run mythics so far. All right, the hunter and the... And a, oh, my God. The, we are on fire. Box stopper time. Birdies of Paradise. One of the most reprinted cards ever, and it still holds a solid $5 bill, folks. Unbelievable. And a Chimera still remains to absorb your money with no value. I know. That's what she does to you, folks. That's what she does. Ghostly, Gutter Snipe, and Gratuitous 2 to 3 to... Oh, my! Testicle Swensdays. Grenzo have... You know, I cannot believe... This is one of the rares I pulled down. On my own eBay store after the mass box opening because everybody was selling them for 99 cent rares. And I was like, dude, how is that Grenzo? Have you ever actually read what that card does? Pause it and read what that card does. That, and I was like, everybody's just dumping it for 99 cents. Well, overweight old guy Rudy from next year says, 
No, I don't agree. And I will go against the grain. I will play contrarian. And I held on to all hundred and something of my Grenzos, and now I sell them for three to five bucks a piece. All right, Giggity! And capital punishment with a foil war chance. Nothing on the crazy side. Overall, nice box. Nice box, folks. Congratulations, Matt. Doing very well, sir. You, uh, you should be on track to uh, turn a nice little profit. Whoa! Lace with Moon Glove. Look at you. Looks like a Lauren Morning Tide artwork. Beautiful artwork. Who did? Rebe of course, it's Rebecca. Oh my God! Beautiful job. Holy smokes! Wow. Why do I not remember that one? I feel like that's something I would remember. Oh, I need to get more rest. All right, folks. In Hamburgering. Hamburgering is a fantastic card again. With Foil, natural unity, beautiful young ladies, but just be very careful because they just got that look on their face like, you don't know what we're going to do. It's okay. I accept. Okay. Rogues, coordinated, vertigo, and a stupid vanguard with the creeper elf that just says, hey, look, I'm cool. Nobody cares again. All right, folks. Continuing forward here. Overall, A-plus box so far, and the gigantic M13 reprint Goliath. Second half of the box already. We are burning through this little guy. Fantastic opening again. These conspiracy boxes, man. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, Duretti! Oh my god. Duretti Sandstorm. Great song, folks. Great song. Yes, that's what I said. Fourth Mythic. Listen to some Sandstorm after this video. Absolutely fantastic techno dance. Duretti. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, folks. All right, Rudy's flinging some bones. Gladiator and a Grenzo non-foil this time. Great little couple dollar rare. I don't know what the foil ones are those. Gotta be 10, 20 bucks for the foil Grenzo nowadays, right? Face reward M13 reprint for the nice 99 cents. Not gonna make you into the home run spirit. All right, Bush and throne of a big city that we will never have. Okay, next, moving on. Hmm. All right, we may have lost our momentum. We haven't got anything spicy last few packs. Yeah, Captain of the Guard and a foil, not foil, hold the perimeter, just a regular Conspiracy Rare. Unfortunately, Conspiracy Rares, it's nice to get a second rare in a pack, but you're not going to get any money out of it. Spirit of the Hearth and Illusion of Choice. That's how Wizards makes you feel when you open those packs, folks. You feel like you're doing something, but you have the illusion. The Gambler's Premium. That's how it makes you feel. Keeper of the Keys with the Shady Chicks again. Not sure which is worse. A bunch of keys or a bunch of shady chicks. Both of which make you nervous. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. And Phyrexian Arena. Another one of those cards I knew was way underpriced for a buck or two a long time ago. Hope you guys held on to the old arena. I think that bad boy is approaching ten bucks now. Fantastic card. Serum Visions, Gruel, Rune, and the Vanguard with Assembling of Garbage. Nah. Well... Down to the last couple packs on box one. Overall, we need one good exotic orchard. Beautiful artwork. Terrible, terrible one. We want forbidden orchard, not exotic. Remember that. The forbidden is good. The exotic is not worth much. All right. Hollow that and... Oh, my God. It happened. Recruiter of the Guard. Everybody knew it was going to be a hot card back in the day. Tanked all the way to a low of $8 to $9. Now it's back to almost $25. Best rare in the set. Congratulations, Matt. Swinging through, man. Last minute. Look at that little last minute reach around for that nice $25 rare. Well played, sir. Hallowed Burial. That's not a well played. Look at that. You get cocky there, man. You got, did good on one pack. Next pack, you just thought you owned the universe. And then you get slapped in the face. Skyline Depot. That's a terrible card. Well, we're down to two packs. Overall, I would like one more Mythic, but we did get a solid three Mythic box. And all three Mythics were... Oh! Come on! That's just wrong. Woo! Oh, God. $60 X appropriate. Oh, my God. Look at him holding that woman's head. For the home. I don't even care about the last pack. Oh, my God. Box one is officially in a regal behemoth in the club with another. Oh, my. Home run. Box one conspiracy, folks. Congratulations to Matt. No need to press F to pay respect to Matt in the chat because he already made money. The rest of us did not. Wow. Oh, my God. Are we ready for box two? Huh? 
Wow. Folks, Matt, you asked me to turn you into the monarch. What did I do? Did I or didn't I not deliver you into the monarch? Can you believe Queen? By the way, we did not get Queen Marchessa. That rascally woman, Queen Marchessa is like $30 a card now. Dude, I remember mass box openers dumping Queen Marchessa for a buck ninety, bro. Home skillet, cheese fries, corn fritter. Dude, home run box one, everybody. Everybody, old Matt, old MJ down here. Dude, Matt just blew it out of the park. He's got a psychosis crawler. I don't even know if Matt cares about box two. You already, dude, that box one, you got both mythics for conspiracy. And you hit all four, all four expensive mythics in the set. Like, just, you assembled the rank, and you were just rocked that thing. You walked in there like it was, oh yeah, I'm just here to take over, no big deal. Yeah, hi, how are you? You did what I did to the magic community when I started a YouTube channel. You literally came in, and everyone was like, oh, look at this new little channel, Alpha's Investments. Look at this, getting like 20 views. Oh, look, 50 subscribers. And then I said, you know what? Hold my beer. Watch this, folks. And that's what happened. Subterranean Rudy coming through. We did not get that on box one. Uh, you know, there was a lot of speculation around that old crocodile alligator a long time ago. And uh, recently I started to notice it's been going back up in price. I'm not sure if there's something going on with that. Second Birds of Paradise with a Child of Rudy. You just double tap the birdies, folks. Not bad. Dude, Matt, you are, you are doing really good, man. Like, seriously. Another re double tap on the Regal. Look at you. Double tap Regal, double tap Birds. If you double tap those Mythics again, oh my god. I'm deleting the video and I'm going to Wendy's. And Wendy's is not even Taco Bell. So I don't even know what to do. I'll just order tacos until the management come out. I mean, it's, that's, that's how I feel about this. Okay, stay focused, folks. And Horn of Greed. This was one of the rares we did not get in Box 1. That was one of the $5 rares that you actually didn't get. Surprise, it's still pretty, pretty cheap, though, with everything else in this set moving up. Throne of Nothing, and another Sovereign's Realm, double tap on the Sovereign's focus. Double Conspiracy Mythic. Woo! Nasty, nasty, nasty. All right, Fang, Looter, Irresistible, and, oh my god, I saw this. Oh god, I thought you just double tapped that Mythic. In a beautiful lay of the land. And Creepy Rudy again. I know, I know, sorry about that. I sincerely apologize about the endless streams of Creepy Rudy. All right, folks, Farbox, Sulfur's Coveted, and Dusk Mantle Seer from the Flippin' Gate Crash RTR Dragony Maze era, folks. It is what it is, everybody. It is what it is. All right, and Duretti for the double tap. God, we are double tapping everything. And we got a little shipwreck singer. Look at that beautiful. You know what? If I was going to go down on a ship, I would like her to show up. That's all. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it's inappropriate. I don't believe that's too much to ask, everybody. Just, just land it out there. All right. Noble Gang and Adriana again with the Creeper Natural Unity Girls. You got to look out for those chicks, man. Something about them. Up to no good. I'm telling you. They're going after your Lotus. Caller of the Beautiful Elf Shaman. Foil Rare Chimera. Come on. Don't spit in my taco like that. That's just, dude, that's inappropriate, man. Act. Ah, give some X appropriate action. Elf, come on. Now you're just being mean. That was just... Dude, now you're just kicking someone when they're down. Matt was over there riding around on a high horse, fancy helmet on, no clothes, acting like he owned this video, and now you're just Platinum Angel. Well, we didn't get that the first time around. All right, well, you got a Platinum Angel. We're getting some different mythics. You got an alligator and an angel and a Duretti. That's uh, definitely a strange transition of uh, mythics there, but okay. And the leech with a goblin tunneler... It's, that's all I got. Just a goblin tunneler. Come on. Don't run out of steam, folks. We got this. Hunter. War. Spectral. And desertion for the double tap. All right. The old double tap -a All right. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Hop guy, Custodia, Illusion, and Harvester of Nothing with just a protester. I don't know. I feel like something weird is about to happen. I've got this, like, eerie. It's like that calm before. Like, we, I feel like we're about to hit some spiciness. And Covenant of the Mines, assembling your ranks. All right, folks, we're down to the last chunk of packs for this video. I feel like something's in the works here, everybody. Stay focused. Good 
draw scepter. Terrible. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Guard Hound, Storm, Ghostly, and oh, M13 face reward. Uh, don't just. Uh, it's annoying. Flipping Cheerios. All right. Bushrider Keepsake Knights and Old Man Rudy again. He just sits there with that annoying grin on his face because you know he's sitting there and he's smiling. That's what bothers me. Acts like he's all better than everybody because he can smile whenever he wants. Hallowed Burial with Creepy Heist Check. All right. All right, so we are literally at like eight packs in a row of nothing. This video is just completely gone stale with the Nate the $10 Phyrexian Arena. Little uptick. Hold the perimeter. Terrible card again. All right, we're down to the home stretch, folks. We need something spicy. That arena was a nice little tap in the arm, but splitting. We don't need the slime and Mr. Workout Rudy showing off. We don't need that crap. I don't care how muscular you are. Yeah, I kind of do. I wish I looked like that. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Windborn. Murr, folk, Diabolic, and a stunt double for the $2.49. Right. Come on. Give us something in the clothes. Come on, Recruiter. Any gratuitous violence for the two forty nine? dollars Come on, give us something, man. Come on, we're dropping some money. We're cracking these packs. Where's all the juice? It's like we just ran out after that first video. Come on, demon. Really? Hello? Can we, why are we, are we, is this the box that we're trying to not get all the good cards? All right. Well, Sanker. Look at her face. God, something, so inappropriate. It's not supposed to be inappropriate. It's supposed to be expropriate is what we need to get. Well, I think we're about to run out of steam, folks, with the orchard. And, uh, crap. Four packs left. Well, if those of you stick, stuck around this long, I feel like the box opening is coming to an end. We have not been getting anything good in the close. Avatar of Woe. That is some flipping woes. There's another mythic. Raise dead for the $1.49 foil common. I think that just solidified the ending because that was our fourth or fifth mythic of box two. So it looks like we are going to miss the two heavy hitters on box two. And Protector of the Crown is not the one we want. We wanted Recruiter of the Guard. Well, that's it, folks. Closing it out. Here we go. Hedron, ah, terrible. Last pack, everybody. Matt, thank you for being a good sport. I hope you enjoyed your stay in the Thunderdome. Congratulations on box one. Sorry about punching you in the nuts on box two. Overall, your box two sucked. You lost your money. Just go home in the fetal position. Box one, congratulations. You are rich and famous. Do whatever you want with the rest of your life. As always, thank you for the support, everybody. Thank you all for watching. As always, thank you for the privilege of allowing me to entertain you. Thank you.